Hey guys, good to see you again. In this video, we can go a little bit more into depth on how to send a username and a password into Instagram's overall user interface and click out of these pop-ups and we don't want to see them anymore. So we can go over the bare basics and then in the future, we can go more into depth on how to apply different features within the entire Instagram universe. So let's get down to it. Sweet. Now let's get out of this terminal over here. Let's clear the workspace. Now we are going to create a login function. Def login over here. Now also, since this is a class, we need to pass in the self. Uh, this is just like a reference when you are initializing objects. It knows what type of functions are inside that class. So it can just point it to it and you can utilize whatever functions inside of that given initialized object, such as bot.login, for instance. All right, so we are now going to log into Instagram. Log into Instagram. Instagram. Okay, sweet. So once we load up the page, we're gonna be using a lot of sleep functions so we can sort of simulate the actions that of a human. <laughs> um, but anyways, we are going to be referencing the username and the password. So once we do this, we can do self.username is equal to username. This is just a referencing the username that's gonna be passed into um into where is it right here it's gonna be referencing the username that's going to come into play also do self that password is equal to password and that's going to be inside your secrets file okay so after that we are going to need the addresses to reference where the values are going to be in terms of the window so real quick let us run our script again we are going to need the addresses and so in order to get the addresses of our values here all we need to do right click inspect and try to inspect again and now you are going to get uh, values so what we want to do is look for like inputs we're going to do right click we are going to copy xpath and we are just going to put that over here so this is going to be the username path is equal to this. We're gonna do the same thing for the password. Inspect, copy, xpath. We are gonna put this as password <coughs> underscore path is equal to this. And note that these do change from time to time. Um, uh, so if your script like breaks in the future, then that might be uh, the issue where you have to just update the paths to each of these individual buttons. Okay, let's copy this, copy XPath, and this is going to be the login button. Login button is equal to this. Okay, sweet. Once we have all that squared away, we are now going to see if they actually reference the values. So let's minimize this. Let's call this username path, okay, and password path. Now we are going to find out if we can actually reference the values once we initialized it all. So we're gonna do bot, since we already initialized it and we're testing uh, the, uh, the paths right away. We can do bot dot, uh, find element by xpath by, okay by xpath and we are going to be passing in the username underscore path see if we get an element oops find elements by xpath by dot driver there you go so we do, there is a reference that is going over here. Let's do the same thing uh, for the uh, password path, password underscore path. Yep. Now note that these values were, uh, that means that there is an object that was found. Uh, and if there's no, if, we, if there's like an error that pops up, then we know that it does not exist within that current web page. So let's go back to our scripts, what we have over here. We are now going to 
reference these paths so that we can actually input values, aka our username and our password into these variables and click the login button. Oh yes, last but not least, let us actually see if the login button exists. Login button, and then we are going to reference the login button over here. We are good to go. Awesome. Sweet. So now going back to here, we are now going to reference the self dot driver dot um, dot find elements by xpath. We do username path. Now this is where it gets really cool. We we can send keys, where the keys is our essentially our reference values that we initialized up here. In this case, it will just be our username, and we will be doing the same thing. Uh, for our uh, password path, which is over here. We're passing in our password here and note that these are all parameter parameterized and they're all being read from the file up above. And then once we send the passwords uh, to the username and password um, fields, we're going to have a sleep function uh, because no one is incredibly fast when they're like writing their stuff out. Uh, so we're going to try and replicate human behavior uh, let me do 1.3 uh, it's to sort of like recuperate how long it'll take for us to actually type it in so you have to think in terms of the you know when we're typing in our username and passwords how long will it take to, for us to like pause and that sort of thing so now that i think about it, it should probably be 0 0.5 and then after that maybe like uh, 0 0.7 i don't know something along those lines and then once we have our login button we're gonna be doing the same thing but and we're not going to be passing anything. We are instead going to click this button so that we can log in. Click. Let's see if this works. All right, so let's quit out of here. And let's run this again. Okay, so the window popped up. So we should see our username. And it's not sending. Oh, that's right, because I didn't send, I didn't, uh, <laughs> I didn't call the login function over here. So let's do that real quick. After we initialize it, we can call bot.login. And that should be better. Let's try that again. Also, just to be on the safe, safe side, I'm going to be sleeping for one second here. So we can register all the paths and see if we can actually log in there. So all of our username paths and uh, password paths have been stored correctly and there's not really much of a lag time. Well, there there is a lag time that's going to be happening so that we could see if all if all of our variable, variables have been created here. So let's see if that works. Yep, there we go. We are now logged in. Now to get in order to get out of this button, we can just start appending values over here. So once we log in, let's add another sleep value. Uh, we do like 0 0.3 seconds. After the sleep value, let us get the inspect, double inspect, copy this, copy the X path. We can do self.driver.find element by X path. We can do click not now, click not now is equal to this. In or not now button. Let's do that. Not now. Uh, no. Okay, and then we're gonna be passing this in here. We're gonna be pressing click. And just to be on the safe side, we are going to include a sleep value here. Like 0.2 seconds. That should be good enough. Like 0.2 so it would be consistent. So that the not now over here can be registered before we start clicking anything see if this works python dash i run that windows opened username password login not now now um, it's probably because we're not sleeping enough that's probably why so let's try doing that again let's get out of here uh, once we do this let's do like 0 0.7 seconds that might be the issue my computer might just be pretty slow when it comes to this. Okay, get the username, password, login. Okay, please click not now. No, it's not. Huh, strange. Maybe, maybe it not. It might not just be that. Uh, 1.5 seconds. Let's try that. Run that. Let's 
actually get out of this. Clear that. Run this again. This will pop up. 1.5 seconds now. This should work. Not now. There we go. Sweet. Yeah, it was just a uh, lag time. Um, let's also do this again. Not now. Uh, it should be the same thing. Yeah, copy XPath. And let's sleep for 1.5 seconds here. And do a self that driver that find your XPath. And we do second not now. Second not now is equal to that. And put the S not now dot click. And we should be good to go here. Now let's run this again. Run that. Pop up. Username, password, log in. Not now. And not now. There we go. We are now in the clear and great. This is great. Hey guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. This is a brief introduction to how to use Selenium and then integrating that with accessing websites and username, logins, and related to Instagram. In the future, we're going to be doing a lot more features um, that's associated with what you can do with Selenium, like liking posts, following people, unfollowing, so on and so forth. So I hope you stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.